Cisco Kid meets the Godfather. Take one. And three, two, one. E. Barry Bo here. America's best crime writer. We're here in our Sunshine Room studio in beautiful suburban Falcroft. And today, I'm going to introduce you to the Cisco Kid. Weber's Bread presents... Here's Adventure! Here's Romance! Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, a Cisco Kid! That's the Cisco kid I remember from my childhood. So, when I needed a guy, a bad guy, for episode two of the Steve Piasecki series, called Hablo Espanol, I wanted a catchy code name for a drug lord from the Sinaloa cartel. My character's name is Francisco Zayas, a 34-year-old Mexican national known as the Cisco kid. Cisco for short. A kingpin in the Sinaloa cartel with a direct link that stretches all the way back to the cartel's headquarters in Mexico, in the city of Culiacan. Cisco Kid fit perfectly. Cisco is a malignant narcissist. Believes he's superior to everyone else, incapable of making mistakes, constantly craves attention. He controls 10 drug cells, one each in Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens, Long Island, Staten Island, Westchester County, North Jersey, South Jersey, and Philadelphia. If this were a Netflix series, who would be right for the part? So I checked out some drug movies. Looked at The Mule. Clint's one of my all-time favorites. Should probably figure that out by now. I saw someone I liked. Ignacio Sariccio. He's my Cisco kid. Now, in the scene where we first meet him, it goes like this. Cisco's sitting in the middle of a large, plush-looking sofa. He's wearing a royal blue jogging suit and a pair of $175 gray New Balance walking shoes. He's watching The Godfather on a huge widescreen TV on the opposite wall. I don't know what to do. My voice is, is weak. It's weak. Anyway, uh, if I had this part in the picture, you know, it puts me right back up on top again. But this, uh, this man out there, he, he won't give it to me. The head of the studio. What's his name? Uh, Waltz. Waltz. He, he won't give it to me. And uh, he says, there's no chance. No chance. A month ago, he bought the movie rights to this book, the bestseller. And the main character is a guy just like me. I, uh, you know, I wouldn't even have to act. Just be myself. Godfather, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You can act like a man. What's the matter with you? Is this how you turn down a Hollywood Pinocchio that uh, cries like a woman? <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? What is that nonsense? Thank you. You spend time with your family? Sure I do. Good. Because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. Mm. You look terrible. I want you to eat. I want you to rest well, and a month from now, this Hollywood big shot's going to give you what you want. It's too late. They start shooting in a week. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Just go outside, enjoy yourself, and forget about all this stuff. So, there you have it. My Cisco kid. And Narcissus that he is, he thinks he's the reincarnation of the Godfather. And trust me, this is foreshadowing. Later, he's going to make someone an offer he can't refuse. So, there's my Cisco kid from Abel Espanol, episode two of the Steve Piasecki series. If you didn't read episode one, Dead Stripper, it's available on Amazon. Get it now before the supply runs out. That's it for now. Until next time. Mm -hmm. See you.
And that's a wrap.